architects, engineers, ilan lang po yan sa mga profession mga kaibigan na in terms of their demand para sa PC build is sobrang taas. Like, uh, they should avail the best PC hardware money can buy. So, if you can buy 100K processor and that is the best uh, processor in the world, then you should have it. Walang problema doon. Unlike with the other consumers, uh, gamers, that uh, when you say you should avail this because this is the most expensive processor, medyo, ay taka lang, hindi porket yan ang pinakamahal, yan ang pinakasuitable sa'yo. Pero with engineers and architects, it will be going with their side. So, yan po yung uh, pag-uusapan natin ngayon mga kaibigan because one of our friend uh, lumapit sa atin and sabi niya, I have 120K here, I want the best hardware that I can have out of my budget. So, 120K yung budget niya. Isa po siyang uh, estudyante. He is taking his uh, course uh, architecture. Last year na po siya ngayon. And uh, he preferred to have the 3900X processor. Kasi medyo PC enthusiast din si sir. So, he got an idea in terms of hardware. So, nagkaroon lang kami ng mga konting conversation to fix things up. Since he is an architect, we should consider also the uh, aesthetics of the hardware. So we need to make this build a bit uh, good in terms of performance at the same time balance with the aesthetics. Kumbaga yung itsura. Alright, so let's jump with this build and let's talk about it. By the way, for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe mga kaibigan dahil marami pa po tayong i-upload a 90k and below PC build for architects and engineers pero as of now ang pag-uusapan natin is the Lumi build of Sir Michael Garcia for 120k thousand pesos 120,000 pesos 120k na 120 <laughs> Alright, so the personal choice of Sir is 3900X. So, yan po yung pinili talaga nating processor. Besides, it's a 12-core processor. And uh, it's a good processor for his uh, Revit software. This uh, software is one of the most used software for architects. And uh, it's really requiring a system requirements of 16 cores. So, imagine, di ba? Bilang isang gamer, magugulat ka... Akala ko parang walang silbi yung mga processor na to kasi who will be using 16 cores? Pero actually, architects and engineers will have that kumbaga mamamaximize yung potential talaga ng processor na yan. Same with the video card. We go next for the RTX 2070 Super. Well, medyo sasabihin nyo sa akin, bakit 2070 Super lang? Imagine guys, the budget is only 120K. So, dun pa lang sa processor, almost 30K na. Doon sa video card, 30K plus. So, 60K na for that two components alone. Pero we cannot have the best out of our processor kung hindi din natin papartneran ng uh, magandang motherboard. So, it's an almost 15K motherboard, the X570 Gaming Pro Carbon. Maybe you will be asking me again, Sir, dapat nag uh, X570 Ultra na lang siya. It's gigabyte. Well, it's a personal preference ni Sir na magkaroon ng MSI build. So, we should have the gaming uh, Pro Carbon because that is the best uh, out of his budget. At the same time, it can handle the 3900X as a processor. Pero, choosing not the right motherboard for that processor, you will be compromised for maybe 10% loss in terms of performance. So, sayang naman, nag-spend ka pa ng 30K tapos bibili ka lang din naman ng worth 6K or 7K or 8K motherboard. Anyway, to speed up things, we go for the storage, 500GB SSD and VME, and then 1TB hard drive, and for the power supply, 1000 watts Platinum, Overkill, yes, it's uh, too much for this kind of build, pero sabi nga ni sir, baka pag nagtrabaho ako, more on uh, Lumion yung mga gagamitin kong softwares, so of course, I need to go for a better video card, uh, RTX 2080 Ti maybe, so I should have prepared the power supply na kahit pa paano nakaabang na since uh, konti lang naman yung itadagdag ko uh, kaysa pagdating ng araw na bibili ako ng panibagong video card bibili na naman ako ng panibagong power supply which is uh, really ideal uh, 
reason kumbaga sa pagpipili ng power supply. And also, he chose to have the platinum. Of course, 1,000 watts, you should go for a better uh, rating kahit pa paano mas malaki din yung matitipid mo in terms of uh, kuryente. And then, uh, for the casing, he chose to have the Cougar Panzer Evo. Kahit pa paano, uh, mas maluwag yung space. It comes with this uh, good width. Kasi nga po, in real world, mga kaibigan, rendering projects like that may take hours, couple of days, even uh, 48 hours para lang matapos. So, they need to have the best airflow in terms of casing, uh, ventilation inside. So, having the Panzer Evo RGB is not bad. And then, uh, for the AIO, he chose to have the best. Once na nag-blue uh, screen or nag-error yung... Uh, PC mo, nag-thermal uh, throttle, ang mangyayari po, uulitin mo ulit. E paano kung ang presentation mo is uh, after 3 days? And yung rendering time is it should be rendered for 2 days. Patay ka na, di ba? So he needs to assure that he got the best AIO he can have. So we go for the Corsair H150i RGB. And then for the RAM, it is 32 gig. So we chose to have the 32 gig to handle the multitasking, especially na pag nag-render ka po or you are into architectural or engineering jobs, you need to have a good or a huge amount of RAM. Dahil sa rendering, malaki din yung kakainin niya. At the same time, during the editing process, handling those uh, processes na gagawin mo is kailangan mo rin ng sobrang taas na memory. So after we put together this build, Eto po mga kaibigan, panoorin nyo po kung paano natin ginawa and at the same time, few benchmarks in the end with Sir Michael Garcia. Okay, so that's it mga kaibigan. As you can see, the VRA benchmark is uh, showing us that this build is rank 80 plus out of the thousands of builds na nag-upload ng kanilang benchmark. So, na may mga natalo siyang mga Intel Xeon builds, mga builds na 
multi-cores din, mas marami pa ang processors or cores compared to this R9 3900X. So, ibig sabihin lang neto mga kaibigan, we got a decent build that is really optimized for engineers. Kahit pa paano, pasok sa 100 out of thousands of uploaded benchmarks. And then, since this is a client build, of course, hindi ko pwedeng bugbugin tong build in terms of benchmarks kasi nga, pinabuild lang po sa atin. So, I just asked him kasi mas maganda rin naman na magagaling talaga sa isang uh, tao na talagang ito yung ginagawa nila araw-araw. So, they are the one who is doing the first-hand experience pagdating talaga sa mga benchmarking or sa mga uh, workflows ng engineering or architectural software. So, I asked him how is the input, how is the temperature. So, he told me that uh, he got 50 to 70 degrees temperature for his uh, CPU and at the same time for his video card. And then for the Lumion, doon ipinakita rin talaga ni Sir that he is uh, using the 100% potential ng video card. That is even more compared sa ating mga gamers. So, sa atin bilang mga gamers, di ba? Parang mga 80%, 70% of the potential ng video card yung nagagamit natin. Pero for an architect or an engineer, they are really using the 100% throughout the rendering time frame. So, sobrang uh, bugbog talaga ang video card nila pagdating sa rendering, especially using Lumion. That is a huge proof, mga kaibigan, that if you can afford to buy the best video card in the market, then go for it. Kasi wala pong uh, masasayang. And then, uh, at the same time, with the processor. So, yan lang po mga kaibigan ang ating review with this build. It's not uh, the most complete in terms of benchmarks. So, of course, it's better for you guys to consult uh, guys who are really using this kind of build every day. And I have linked his Facebook down below, Sir Michael Garcia. He is taking his last year uh, for the course na architecture. So, marami silang thesis ngayon, marami silang projects. So, he is having the first-hand experience pagdating talaga dito day-to-day -day basis. So, talagang siya yung pwede niyong uh, kausapin regarding sa mga ganyan. Pero of course, you can also reach me or uh, comment lang po kayo sa baba. Magtanong lang po kayo. Kasi sa atin naman, kahit pa paano, araw-araw po natin itong ginagawa. We are doing benchmarks. We are doing a couple of uh, testings. So, in terms of those softwares like this Lumion, medyo marami na po tayong input regarding dyan. So, yan lang po mga kaibigan. If you are planning to build your next PC build for your engineering and architectural works, feel free to comment down below, subscribe, and yes, keep posted sa mga susunod pa nating mga videos dahil marami pa po and marami pa po tayong i-upload reviews, 90k builds for engineers and architects and more in the coming days. That's it guys and thank you.